three. Garcia para sa Mapua. Couldn't escape Prior. Has to pass to the other side to Morales. Balik sa gitna. Ngayon, Benedicto. Still at it. And uh, malakas. Ngayon, yung pulsi niya mukhang lampas na. Matala, eto si Viloria. And offensive foul there. Consistent are the calls here on offensive fouls. Well, tama ka. At uh, pag ganito na na uh, amateur, Viloria. binabanggit mo, malaki din na niya pagkakataon. Kapag uh, nasa gasaan yung defensive player, ay uh, offensive foul lang uh, binibigay. Reyes ang papalitan ni Coach uh, Bong Ramos. At ang uh, kanyang ipapalit ay itong si uh, Marupo. Mm -hmm. 14 and 29, 14 minutes, 29 seconds. Mapua trailing Latran, 36 to 33. Garcia, Marukot, back to Garcia. They've got 14 to shoot. Inside to Marukot, and he's there, and boy. Fresh from the bench, si Marukot nag-score kagad ng dalawang putos. Almost trouble there, mm -hmm. pero nung wala siya narinig na pito, diretso-diretso ito. Ayun, Ayan, alas tawa lang yung bola, pero naka-recover ito. Kahit tatlo ang kanyang bantay, kahit gang tapan sa ilalim, may foul pa siyang nakuha mula dito kay Rolly Saklot. That would be the second for Saklot. Steve Marukot. Finishing his uh, bonus, but they got the ball back. Uh, but he missed again. This time on a J. Here is Veloria. Just a one-point lead po para sa Letran. 14 minutes remaining. Nito po sa second half. Here is Prior. He's taken over the leadership para sa Letran. Calagio looking for Saklot downstairs. There's the screen. And the jumper by Calagio. Diretso, diretso. Oh, sa kanila lagyan natin. Parang nilagyan ng linya. Diretso, sa rin. That would be the third. For Chris Calagio, na nagsimula na nga mag-init na laban na ito para sa Letran, 39-35, pala hindi naman sila sa taas. Ito ang Mabua. And too close for Prior. Oo, oh, oh, at uh, <laughs> nga, kahit rookie ito, may kulang na rin ito. Eh. Oh. Nakataas yung kamay niya, pero, <laughs> pero yung, yung katawan niya, oh, eh, imbal, imbal lang tumitikit. <laughs> panay ang bundol. So that would be the second personal foul para dito sa rookie point guard ni Coach Molet Pineda. That's John Priore. That's gonna be a turnover. Another turnover. Na kanina yeah. pang pumapatay sa Mapuwa ng first half palama. During the first half, mm -hmm. they had 12 turnovers and it hurt them, especially nung early going. Pero nung uh, kanilang magagandang defense na, nakabawi na rin sila. Pero dito, makang pumabalik na naman yung simptomas ng kanilang uh, turnovers. In both teams with 15 fouls dito po sa second half with 13 and 25. Calagio, the crossover, the hand of Tusaklot, the move, the left-handed shot. Wala, and Quason, he's got the big numbers in terms of rebounds para po sa Mapua. Kambiyong pabalik si Garcia. Pal Benedicto, paray na ang tira sa malayo, and he's not making those long bombs. Patig na rin ito, Randy. Kanina, panay ang tira niya, pero lahat po mapasok. Pero iba pag uh, may nararamdaman ka ng pagod eh. And I think Coach Bong Ramos has to make a decision on uh, Patrick Benedicto. Montala, may nakita foul. It's on number 12. Morales. That's Morales. That would be the second para kay Morales Garcia. na papalitan din ni uh, Coach Juan Ramos to Garcia. Wow. Garcia. Papasok naman na uh, itong kanilang uh, panentro na si uh, Manzi Rodriguez for Tuazon. Amador papasok din kasama naman itong uh, si Pimentel. Si Pimentel, oh, si Jensen Pimentel, number 5 of the Mapua team. So a changing of the guards for the Cardinals. There is Saklot for Letran against Benedicto. They've been at it all day long. Garcia, he's got to change it somewhere. Ang taas ang talon. Ito si Patrick Garcia. Dalawa nga sumalubo. Oh my, Garcia rather. Dalawa ang nga sumalubo sa kanya. Pero binumpa sa kanan at may bali mang konti. Hang time. Oh, but uh, reminiscent of the Samuel in years for Letran. It just wouldn't fall para po kay Benedicto dito sa second half. Tatlong sunod-sunod na na three-point pam ito. At uh, iga nga si Coach Bong Ramos seriously considering. Pagod na itong bata na ito eh. Oh, pero ano pa bang option pag nilabas po si uh, Benedicto dito? Mandala Letran is on top by six points. Prior moving in closer. And that's a shot selection for you. Steadiness on the part of the rookie. Si Prior pilim-pili ang mga tira nito. He has 
eight points, his first two points dito sa ating second half of play. Pero earlier, during the first half, we remember na dalawang three-point shot ang pinakawalan niya. He has the hand. Yes, at uh, parang si Aiso nung dating letran, ano? Nagigilas <laughs> itong si Prior. So, Manala Pimentel is doing it. Well, or has done it. Marami actually inaasahan na uh, suporta dito kay uh, Jensen Pimentel, one of the holdovers mm -hmm. dito sa Mapua team. Ito ang magdadala just in case ilalabas itong si Benedicto. Pero hindi pa rin ginagawa ni Coach Ramos. Prior, could it be back-to-back -back for him? Wala. Offensive border for Viloria, but huwag naman sa harap ni Rodriguez. Oo, oh, oh, nakakadalawa na itong si Juan, si Rodriguez on his playing first playing day sa NCAA offensive foul and Benedicto naakit siya dun eh ha? well kitang kita niya na may pagkakataon siya pero itong si Calagio binawian siya and again this is sign of yung kanyang uh, decision making medyo apektado na ng uh, pagod na finally ilalabas siya at ipapasok ni Coach Bong Ramos would be Bernales his number 11 player well on the part of Letran Miller makes a re-entry dito po sa second half after uh, being replaced seconds into this uh, period. And making it tough for the backcourt is Pimentel. Talk about offensive uh, foul sa uh, Randy. May apat na ang letran, may lima ang mga taga mabuwa. So offensive uh, foul from itong dalawang uh, kumpuna na ito. And they have to make the adjustment soon. 11 minutes remaining dito po sa... Second half, Letran lamang po ng aning, 43 to 37. And what a game to start the 73rd season of the NCAA, Randy. Ooh! And the fake end, the offensive foul too on the Mike Garcia. Kasasabi mo po lang ng offensive foul. Actually, it's a traveling no, violation traveling. on uh, Mike Garcia. At uh, na-intimidate siya eh. Sa, nasa harap pa niya na naman si Rodriguez mm -hmm. na talagang uh, banning the defensive lane of Mapua very effectively with the shot blocks. And this is Anthony Lim, that's the brother of uh, Sam Boy, first time fouling Jensen Pimentel. First time in the ball game, Paula kanyang nakuha, Garcia, ilalabas muna ni Coach Molet Pineda. Papalik niya itong si Velez, na numero 19 ng uh, kukuna ng uh, Letran. So, additional ceiling para dito sa Letran. Lamang sila ng anim na puntos. Pimentel wouldn't get it to fall. Ito si Miller. He has yet to explode and score. There's the curl going to Viloria. Umatras pa sa Maitira. Wala. And uh, Rodriguez solo doon. Nag-hesitate si Viloria doon. Luwag na. Nag-dribble pa ng isa. Inabot na siya. Pero Miller nakaabot din. Cat quick. Miller. At uh, dadaanan ka lang. No? Parang palang roadrunner itong si Miller. Pero one thing. Yung defense ng Mabu has been very effective mm -hmm. against Willie Miller. Hindi nila hinahaya ang makarangka din ng si Miller. Dito sa pag ito ang pumutok. Mahirap din pigilan ito. Si Viloria pinaltan ngayon para sa Letran together with Pimentel this time for uh, Mapua. Nasa call trouble na rin si Pimentel. He has three personal fouls. At uh, kailangan siya palitan ni uh, Coach Juan Ramos. Garcia papasok para sa kanya. But uh, we see Miller on the free throw line. Dahil kapwa po nasa penalty na ang magkabilang kukunan. Tonight, itong si Miller ay nakakapagtala. Wala pang puntos. Missing two free throws earlier and finally earning his first point. Po, isa sa mga veteran actually only okay, second year player pero he averaged 30 points per ball game 19 scoring during last year's season pero for just error oh. error prone din ito averaging two errors per ball game well miller mapupunan niyo naman po medyo madribble ka dito si miller no? Pag, uh, kumbaga sa player he doesn't give up the ball immediately tries to work his way through the defenders 9 minutes and 54 seconds into the second half or rather remaining in the second half and it was short, and here comes Miller. Let's see the explosion. He has got the ball, but he has to come out. Masyado nang masikip doon. Hinahabol siya. Soriano tries to work his way. Stop Not again Rodriguez. against Rodriguez. King of the block. Oh, haba kasi ng kamay nitong si Rodriguez. And he'll wait for you upstairs. There the, the pass. Isi isa pa hindi, kay Marukot na lang. Jumant itong si Marukot. Sablay sa may badang kaliwa. And that's a foul. That time, si Amador ang tatawagan, holding on to Lim. At si Anthony Lim will go to the free throw line in a chance to may tala ang kanyang unang puntos sa kanyang rookie season. Second personal foul para kay Amador. At ilalabas din siya ni Coach Bong Ramos. Yes, ilalabas siya ni Reyes. At uh, eto, kung makikita niyo sa screen, nakababatang kapatid po ito ni Samboy Lim ng San Miguel Beer. Well, of course, his elder brother played for the same team nung uh, siya naman ang nasa kolehyo. 
Ooh. Mente siya ng unang free throw ni Anthony Lim. At uh, hindi pa siya nakakapagtala. Only in his rookie season. And part of the Letran uh, group, 1947 season. Uh, Oo, oh, kanina nagawa rin itong mga itong mga silver jubilarian. Oh, golden actually, 1947. Uh, oh, golden. Sorry. Okay, at uh, gin mga ginintuan. Ano yung tinansyapan-syapan natin yung edad din? Well, balik po kayo sa NCAA at uh, hope you're enjoying the game. Well, they're enjoying it kasi lang mga letran po ng 9 puntos samantala. May foul na naman. Mm. And the foul will be called against Velez. Para kay Velez, oh, that will be his fourth personal foul. Kanina, kaya hindi oh. nalaman si Coach uh, Mulet ito dahil uh, nasa foul trouble na nga eh. Ngayon, yun na naman ang kanyang ibinigay. So, balik na naman sa free throw line. Maaga na sa penalty ang magkabilang kumpunan. Just like what they had during the first half of play. 9 minutes and 11 mana Tito Rarandi and Umansi Rodriguez, the king of the shot block at least in this game. Pasok ang kanyang unang free throw. A 200-pounder rookie center at 6 foot 6, number 16. At alam mo kung sino ang mga naka-16 ang numero sa Mapua. Oo, oh, si Alvin Patrimonio noong panahon niya in the uh, early 80s. And look at the blocks. Three of them mula kay Omansi. Oo, oh, si Omansi Rodriguez, tatlo ang kanyang nakuha. At uh, the others from uh, Benedicto and uh, Tuaso. Kita mo, iniibo na ng letrat sa loob. Pag nakita si Rodriguez na doon, nilalabas yung bola. They're not taking it strong. Here is Miller. Tama yung mga pasa. Tentativeness na on the part of letrat. Lim, they've got seven seconds to shoot. Sumagasa si Lim. Palapal na naman! Nandiyan si Tuason, nandiyan si Rodriguez. Tama ka, the conspiracy of Tuason and Rodriguez. Nako, hindi matinagtingan ng mga tagaletran. Kanina, panay ang tira nila sa labas, kaya hindi nila nararamdaman. Ngayon, kailangan nila lang high percentage shot. Sinasalubong sila. Bernales, for the three. At nakahawak-hawak sa t-shirt ni Sakot si Rodriguez. Si Rodriguez, hindi nakita eh. And look at Miller, very quick on the move. And traveling, he lost his footing. Well, he's quick, pero hindi niya alam gamitin itong kanyang kamilisan. Being very fancy itong si Willie Miller. And he has to mature sa kanyang uh, talento. Bata pa itong si Willie Miller eh. Kaya yun ang sinasabi ni uh, Coach Mulet Pineda. Gamitin daw ang utak sa kanyang uh, athletic capabilities. Kaya nga, uh, combination yan. Oo, oh, uh, sa yung potential, ano? Oo. Oh. Uh, ano din, eh, explosiveness is present, but somehow, nga yung binanggit mo, partner, eh, tamain mo sa tamang panahon. Walong minuto, nalalabi po sa ikalawang hati o second half ng laro ng Mapua at Letran. Five seconds to shoot, Reyes barrels through, but this time the block was called against Letran. Lucky break para sa upunan ng uh, Mapua. Soriano was called for the blocking foul. Only his first. At uh, may palitan na kagad ng mga players dito. Soriano at Lim ilalabas. Babalik sa laro. Itong si uh, Chris Calagio at si Prior na ang kombinasyon na ito. Very deadly so far. Feeling ni Coach uh, Mulet Pineda. Kailangan nila ng isang momentum dito sa 7 minutes and 52 mark. Si Reyes tallying naman from the free throw area. He's averaging 75. Although last year, he played only 8 games dahil sa mga injuries. So the lead cut down to 5. Letran 46, Mapua 41. Pitong minuto, 46 na segundo dito po sa second half. Both teams in penalty and that's why things are trying, starting to slow down dito po sa second half. They're playing basketball. Ooh, so there's some pushing inside. Miller, umatake! And that was a foul. That would mean three free throws para po dito kay Willie Miller. At masamang balita ito for Reyes. That would be his third oh, personal Reyes. foul. He's been very hot from the outside. Dito sa second half of play. Pero now he commits his third and that would somehow affect his uh, defensive stance against the uh, offensive men of Letran. Si Miller, ang kanya mga puntos lahat po galing sa free throw area. Pinte sa kanyang free throw. So he's going 2 out of 5 tonight. At marami-rami mga turnovers na ako kumit nito si Willie Miller. Last year, he was fourth overall pagdating sa error. Ako, ngayon, baka magunguna siya. At least dito sa opening oh, day. Oo, eh, dahil wala pa yung second game. Eh, dahil <laughs> obviously, dito siya yung may pinakamaraming error na sa laro. Partner with 7 minutes and a half remaining dito sa second half. And that takes a lot from his team. Ngayon, nakalamangan nila ay pitong puto. Sana nakalayo pa sila. Kung namin yung pinuusan nila yung mga turnover, umasok yung pangalawang free throw ni Miller. 48 ang letran, 41 ang mapua. Garcia, 
strong going to Reyes. He's pumped in uh, a couple. Wala dito. Agawan sa bola. Nakakuha ni Chris Calagio ng Letran. Prior is being hounded by uh, Reyes. But uh, nabanggit mo nga, tatlong fouls ito si Reyes. Dito sa laro. And Prior asking for the letter. Here is Calagio. Parang uh, may hindi natural doon. Eh. Ooh! Na in your face, ha? And blocking foul there on Prior. But the Stonewall defense put up by Rodriguez. Well, actually, that was a good foul to give up para kay Prior para matigil yung fast break. And luckily for them, nasa penalty na magkabi ng upra. Pero yung shot block ni Uman, si Rodriguez. It's start, it started it all, ha? Well, rookie pa lamang itong si Rodriguez. Pero nakikita mo kung gano'n niya pigilin ang uh, mga umaataking mga Letra Knights sa kanilang depensa. Saklot would be uh, put in the bench at si Mike Garcia ang babalik sa laban. They need some offensive sack. Kaya sabay-sabay na sa loob si Garcia, Calagio at Prior, including Miller. Meanwhile, the Garcia naman ng uh, Mapua ay eh, sumablay sa kanyang una at making it up on the second. That's Efren Garcia Jr., a 5-10 point and also a rookie para sa team ni Coach Bong Ramos. John Prior, nagos ang bola. Mike Garcia, baseline. He is rejected again by Rodriguez. But they retain the leather. Miller, they're up by 6, 48 to 42. So the challenge, talagang hinaharap nitong si Oman, si Rodriguez ng Mapua. Calagio loses the handle, two free throws for him. Benedicto back in harness, fouling Chris Calagio. Oh, oh at pangatlo na ito na personal foul na may tatawag. Benedicto. Laban kay Benedicto, nakapapasok pa lamang actually trying to uh, gain some uh, momentum dito sa kanyang uh, pagpasok na ito. Pero foul ang tinawag sa kanya. Magandang uh, matchup ito. Calagio mm -hmm. and Benedicto. Para yung may tira sa labas, para yung may katawan. And I think these two young men will go places, Randy. At uh -huh. least mag-basket mo lang pinag-usapan. Yes, and Calagio has gone places in this ball game. And his team is up by 8. Yan po ang letran. 50 ang letran. Ang mapuwa naman po ay 42. Benedicto. Let's see kung napaayos na yung kanyang pahinga. And he's back in harness para sa Mapua. Rodriguez. He's made his statement sa depensa. They're work, trying to work it as close as possible to the uh, goal. Reyes. Ikot ang bola kay Garcia. He's got the J. He won't fall. And Arriba Letran. Medyo bumagal dito ng konti. 5 minutes and 53. Tama ka, Randy. Yung kanilang katatak po medyo napigilan. Kailangan din nilang uh, i-face yung kanilang mga sarili dito. Calagio. Oops! It goes to Veles. Pero mukha nasaktan si Calagio. No? Sa kanya oh. pagpagsak, sumabit yung braso niya. Eh. Okay, kami mo yung magpapalik. Masakit po yun. At uh, that was a slow-mo. And you see Chris Calagio trying to put himself together. But Letran is on top, 52 to 42. Sampu na ulit. Nagising na ulit ang uh, offensive pa mga taga Letran. Especially ito si Chris Calagio who had a hard fall earlier. Eight points na siya dito sa second half. A total of 20 for the uh, Letran veteran. And the Cardinals throwing it away once again dito po sa second half. 5 minutes and 23 seconds, Molet Pineda of Letran. Ito na naman yung offensive drought ng uh, mga taga-mapuha na nasa for nila. Simula nung uh, ating uh, basa ng first half of play. Uh, Letran naman ang nag-iinit ngayon. So a chance for Letran na palakihin pa ito, possibly to 12. Garcia to Prior. Prior has given a good account of himself. Steady. Calagio. Prior. And he traveled that moment of hesitation. Again, kita mo, nandun pa rin yung depensa ng uh, MIT eh. Hindi mapasok ng mga taga-letran, mm -hmm. pero ang kanilang nagiging problema, ito sa kanilang pagpabalik. Si Benedicto ang kanilang hinahanap kanina, pero ngayon, mukha hindi na nakiklik ang uh, shooting ni uh, Patrick Benedicto. Well, hindi siya nakakatanggap ng bola, and Miller tapping the ball out. Kita mo yung, uh, nandito si Benedicto sa kaliwa, pero yung pass po muna sa kanan. Well, tama ka, at ang... Uh, Bola pumunta pa. Fresh 30-second shot clock para sa mga taga-mapua. 4 minutes and 47. They have to make a bold move 
dito uh, possibly an impact basket Randy oh 4 minutes 47 seconds but kailangan kumilis na to they were able to do it kanina with defense sa first half let's see kung maulit nila but Benedico has to be involved para po sa Mapua Rodriguez Garcia Pimentel for the 3 point shot eto mukhang ito ang kailangan 3 point basket nitong uh, mga taga Mapua si Pimentel binaril pa yung mga fans ng uh, <laughs> left run oh, at uh, usa yung mga pistolero dito ah Logan Miller, he has to pass it. Rodriguez is in front of him. Tapped out by uh, Mapua. Kita mo, itong si Miller ha-attacking sa loob on the last split second. Hindi pala yung titira. Oh. Yung drop pass, huling-huli na eh. Buti na lamang na tap out ng mga taga Mapua. So they retain possession. Here is Garcia. He got the jump over Rodriguez. This time, nakalusot siya kay uh, Rodriguez. Hindi siya nasapal dahil ang taas din ng uh, spring. Mm -hmm. Itong si uh, Mike Garcia. 54 to 45. Three-point shooting. Nakikita natin, Randy mm -hmm. Mapua. Three out of nine. At uh, yan po ay uh, makikita natin. Second half, three-point shooting pa lang yan for both teams. And very much in control lang Letran sa puntong ito ng laro. With three minutes and 47 seconds there on top, 54 to 45. And Rosie is a situation for Letran. And that's three seconds. No, yung uh, pagkambi yung pabalik ni Mike Garcia, eh, nagkatulugan sa pansitan. And that's good defense for you. And hesitation on the part of the Letran's offense. Ang ganda na nung pasa ni uh, Prior K. Uh, Garcia. Eh. Biglang inilabas pa yung uh, kanilang possible rebounder sa kanan. Siya ang nahuli sa three-second violation. And that's offensive foul against Garcia of Mambua. So, another turnover. Balik ang bola niyan sa Letran. Time running down to... 3 minutes and 27 dito po sa second half. Team for that. At uh, nagkaroon ng uh, turnover ang uh, Letran. Nagkaroon din ang turnover itong mga taga Mapua and Prior again showing how to defend well against the backward players of Mapua. He's got how many? Mga tatlo o apat na atang uh, offensive foul ang natatanggap ni Prior mula sa kanyang katapat. Here is Prior. Ito mo yung uh, style niya. He was able to lure the defense to him but the call was a three-second violation against Letran. Well, that's a big call. That's a big call, Randy. Oh, and we can't help but figure out why. Three minutes and four remaining dito po sa second half. Letran pa rin po namamayan. Ilabing isang puntos. Sticking it close is Prior. Benedicto. Will he light it up? Yes! At talaga hindi pa na uubos. Ang three-point shooting. Ito si Patrick Benedicto. Only his first three points. Dito sa second half of play, a total of 18 for the big man. And it's a six-point advantage for Letran. Malayo pa to rato, 2 minutes and 37. Naanim lamang ang lamang ng Letran. Calagio, he feels he can take Benedicto from the outside. He's got the leather, and it's open for him. Miller, that was traveling, but uh, was not seen. Though he missed, and a loose ball foul on Garcia, two free throws. Well, two free throws. Ito si Benedicto, mukhang biglang nagising dito sa juncture na ito. Randy, alam niya, lumalayo na ang uh, kukunan ng Letran. Pero now, it's only a six-point lead with his three-point shot and defensive stop. Si Calagio, hindi nakadiskarte. And with a six-point lead, Letran, meron po tayong timeout. Okay, let's get on with this ball game. Letran 54, MIT 48, and Benedicto. That's an opportunity lost for Mapua. Again, missing from the free throw area. Si Benedicto nung uh, last year sa campaign ng uh, Mapua. From the free throw line average, only 66%. And it's showing here, pero yung pangalwa ay pinasok niya na. So only a five-point ball game. At Randy, what an opening game. Itong ating napapanood dito. Two minutes and 20 remaining. And Miller... Call for the third over. Mapua using defense to bail them out. Again, dito sa laro, we saw that in the first half. At ito, mukhang nabubuhay na naman ng ganun trend rato. Ah. And the culprit for Letran is again Miller. Masyado siyang... Uh, yung babad, no? Masyado siyang nakakababad sa bola. Tama ka. Uh, the double team approaching him. And another opportunity para sa Mapua na makadikit. Lamang-lamang na lima sa kanila. They gotta make this wise and sure. Ten seconds to shoot. Benedicto. Calagio on him, six seconds. Benedicto, pinilit na masyado yung uh, kilos niya. Here is Miller. Nope, and look at that. Four Cardinals on Miller. 
They get the ball back. Si Benedicto, talaga hindi niya sinukuha si Miller. Di bali matawagan ng ball. Pero his intimidation, bearing fruit sa ta, mintis yung easy layup na yun para kay Miller. Rodriguez, wala. Agawan sa bola. Nakuha ni Mike Garcia para sa Letran. A minute and 25. But they're still giving the ball to Miller. Kailangan nilang, uh, yung nga, magsayang ng ilang mga segundo rito to eat up some time. They're on top, Letran, 54 to 49. And let's see. Pimentel, very close on Miller. Nakita niya, 9 seconds, Miller. Walang kilos mula sa Letran player. Naghihintay ng pasa, prior for the three. And Localagio saving it, but to the wrong man, Rodriguez. 57 seconds remaining in this exciting ball game. Mabua. The three is in! Boy, oh boy! Big shot for Pimentel. Second three-point shot of the ball game. All scored in the second half of play. A total of eight for the Mapua Cardinal named Pimentel. Only a two-point ball game, Randy. Yes, and it's going down the wire. Prior. The handoff. No basket. It's all Russell Dazzle. And the foul will go against Vélez. Of Letran. And that would be the fifth personal of Vélez. He will foul out of the ball game. And two free throws oh, awaiting yes. Mapua. Big plays. Dito kay Pimentel. He shot a three-point basket. At nakuha niya yes. rebound to force a foul oh, wow. from Vélez. Due to penalty situation, si Pimentel pupa to some free throw area. And a chance for this uh, veteran, Jensen Pimentel. Na may tablan laban natin Randy. Yes. Let's still on top by two, 54 to 52, 28.5 seconds. Pero this game is far from over. Malayo, malayo pa to sa katapusan. And of course, the fate of this ball game could be in the hands of Jensen Pimentel. He's a good free throw shooter. Last year, he averaged 79% Randy mula sa free throw area. Ayon. Susubukan natin ang uh, kanyang performance mula dyan. Hindi pa siya nakakapunta sa free throw area. So tonight. first trip niya to. And 28.5 seconds, Letran is on top by two. Jensen Pimentel. And let's see if he will feel the pressure. He first. Just a one-point ball game now. 54, Letran. 53, Mabua. Medyo kinakaba na mga fans ng uh, Letran. At ang Mabua naman, all in their feet. He does it! It's tied at 54. Here is the play for Letran. No timeouts called Randy. Yes. As both coaches relying on their players to make the decision. Here is Prior. 19 seconds. It's all tied. Let's see the play. Will this be the last or will we go into overtime? Calagio, 10 seconds to shoot. The fans. On their feet, dito sa Araneda Coliseum, Calagio, he's got to do it somewhere. Calagio, will he have enough time? No, I don't think he will have time. We will, natin. we will go to overtime, yes. Randy. And this is the, just the first game. Letran and Mapua, 54 all after 40 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, so dinami-dami po ng mga tao ngayon dito sa NCAA ay may na tayo nakita ang prominent figure mula sa PBA. Ang assistant coach po ng Gordon's Gym, si Mr. Rino Salazar. Sir, pwede po ba naming malaman kung ano po ang pinuntan nyo rito? Kung meron po bang team na niruroot kayo na specific? Well, I'm, I'm a true-blooded uh, letteranite and uh, you know, every uh, uh, opening of the NCAA every year I sit to it. Uh, uh, nanonood ako ng opening at uh, very exciting itong mga games na to. And especially itong game na to na, you know, it goes to overtime. That's what I like in this uh, uh, NCAA. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Now back to the panel. Okay, thank you, Janelle. And uh, of course, tama yung sinabi ni Coach Rino. Perfect attendance yan pagka opening dito rado. But this court, this coliseum is shaking. Well, tama ka. At I warned you, Randy, during the start of this ball game, I told you, baka kulangin tayo sa energy. Oh! Only the first game, and we're going to overtime. Everybody's on their feet. Both teams, Latran, 
at ang mapuwa, nako, walang patalunan dito. Kulang ang 40 minutes ng basketball. Yes, and energy is not running out. <laughs> Talagang nanginginig on both ends. So you have mapuwa on the, sa kanan natin, the litran sa kaliwa, 54 all after 40 minutes. And walang stop, ha? walang tigil dito. Look at the fans cheering for their school, for their teammates. Everything else dito po sa larong ito. Eto, Except the winner, wala pa, hindi pa natin alam dito. Ito, mga tagalitran, talaga yeah. namang uh, kompleto na nandito. Ito ang kanilang kupunan. At alam mo, naulit yung nangyari Randy ng first half play dito sa ating mm -hmm. second half. Uminit yung offense ng uh, letran. Actually, four minutes of this ballgame, lamang sila ng sampung mm -hmm. punta.